Twice a day, Akiyama cooks her family's meals over a smoky chula. Like many other women who live in Lingrajpur, a tiny hamlet on the outskirts of Bangalore, she complains of eye pain, headaches, and asthma. But that may soon change. The Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Rural Energy and Development has adopted the village and plans to install solar lighting and smokeless chulas. We thought of selecting this village because it is unelectrified for the past 20 years. So first, in the first phase, we thought of installing solar street lights and home lighting system, then also to have a smokeless wood stove. According to the institute, the burden on women to procure fuel is overwhelming. They spend hours every day collecting firewood and up to one quarter of their income on kerosene for light at night. The solar lighting in chulas won't come cheap though. The four street lights cost about one lakh, but villagers will only pay 10% of the cost. The institute will fund the rest in partnership with a solar lighting supply company. The women say they will donate mud and bricks to help build their new chulas. Right now, women are quite happy to have a smokeless stove in their houses and children now they can come outside their house comfortably. They need not fear about snakes or any other insects. Except the bookworm. The children of the village say they like to read outside now under the glow of the solar lamp after the sun goes down. Michelle Stockman, Hindustan Times, Bangalore.